that the most popular and commonly used power electronic switching devices are BJT, MOSFET and IGBT. But when it comes to the switching AC waveforms, we can frequently notice the trike being used to switch current in both the directions. Now since the trikes cannot fire or trigger symmetrically, it is accompanied by the support component that is called DIAC. DIAC is two terminal device that can act as a switch based on the voltage applied across it. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Shweta Gohil in the session of Industrial Electronics. In this article, we will learn more about DIAC, its construction, working and application. So let's get started. Let us see what is DIAC. The term DIAC stands for Diode for Alternating Current, that is DIAC. It is bidirectional semiconductor switch that can be turned on in both forward and reverse direction. The device is a member of thyristor family and it is mostly used in triggering triac and other thyristor based circuits. The diac starts conducting electric current if the applied voltage goes beyond its breakover voltage. Diacs are available in different types of diac packages such as components in small leaded packages, surface mount packages etc. Most of the time diac and triac are used together so they are available in IC integrated packages also. Now let us see the symbol of diac. Diac is given by the symbol of two diodes connected in parallel and opposite to one another and has two terminals. Since diac is bidirectional, we can't name those terminals as anode and cathode. The terminals of diac are simply called A1 and A2 or MT1 and MT2 where MT stands for main terminals. Hence the pinouts of diac are reversible just like as resistor or capacitor. You could have noticed although it belongs to thyristor family, it does not have a controlling gate terminal because they can be turned on or off by simply reducing the voltage level below the avalanche breakdown voltage and it can be used in both the polarities. Moving on to the construction of diac. The construction of diac will be quite similar to the structure of transistor but they have some differences like diac does not have any base terminal. All the three layers have same amount of doping and it delivers symmetrical switching properties in both the polarities of applied voltage. The above diagram represents typical construction of the diac. As mentioned earlier, diac has two terminals namely MT1 and MT2 and it can deliver current in both the directions. The diac is made up of five layered structure. The layers closer to the terminals are combination of both positive and negative layers. When the voltage is passed through the terminals, the layer with respective polarity to the voltage gets activated. This combination of both the polarities helps in operating diac in both the direction. Now coming up to the working principle of diac, the above images shows clear operation of diac with respect to the polarities. Consider MT1 terminal to be positive, then P1 layer near to MT1 will be activated. So, conduction will take place in order of P1, N2, P2, N3. When the current is flowing from MT1 to MT2, the junction between P1, N2, P2, N3 are forward biased and the junction between N2, P2 is reverse biased. Similarly, if we consider MT2 terminal to be positive, then 
P2 layer near MT2 will be activated and the conduction will be taking place in order of P2, N2, P1, N1. The current will be flowing from MT2 to MT1 and the junctions between P2, N2 and P1, N1 are forward biased and junction between N2, P1 is reverse biased. Hence the conduction will be possible in both the direction. Now let us see VI characteristic of DIAC. The VI characteristic curve of DIAC will be the shape of Z and the curve will be lying on the first and the third quadrant because they conduct in both positive and negative polarity. The first quadrant represents positive half cycle where current will be flowing from MT1 to MT2. And the second quadrant represents negative half cycle where the current will be flowing from MT2 to MT1. Initially, the resistance of dike will be higher because of reverse bias junction between the layers. So, there will be small leakage current flowing through the dike. It is mentioned as blocking state in the curve. Once the applied voltage reaches the breakdown voltage, the resistance of the dike drops abruptly and then it starts conducting which leads to sharp decrease in voltage and current starts increasing, which is mentioned as conduction state in the curve. Most of the dikes will be having a breakdown voltage around 30 volts. The exit breakdown voltage will be based on type of the device. The dike will be in conducting state until current reaches the particular value called holding current. Where holding current is minimum current that is required for the device to keep it in on state. Here are some applications of the dike. Dikes are used for triggering trike or other kind of thyristors. Apart from this, they do not possess many applications. The dikes are used as a trigger device in various applications such as phase control circuits of the motor speed control, light dimmers, heat controls and many other control circuits. Thank you so much for your support. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe the channel. Don't forget to press bell icon for more updates.